you think is the scariest thing you could encounter in build a -Bugs? Well, whatever it is, we're gonna be building it today. Now, one thing I know for sure, I wanna be a part of this build, it's gotta be these gargantuous wheels, you know? I really never build with them. And honestly, they're pretty terrifying. <laughs> Now, these things are actually so big. Like, even when I place them right next to each other, there is so much space in between here. So, we're gonna have to be kind of careful with how we actually use this. <laughs> Dude, that looks terrifying already. I've only placed two blocks so far. Well, I'm pretty sure that I want this thing to be some sort of heavy-duty piece of equipment. So, I'm gonna be working with metal. I don't want this thing to be super light. I mean, a toy car really isn't all that scary. <laughs> all right, now, in the building right here, I'm actually gonna use a little trick right here. All right, place that block like so. Scale it up one, move it in one, and we're Right there we have a perfect 45 degree corner all right now this was going to be the bumper um this is way too low down or, sorry way too high up yeah it looks a little better now this right here is already starting to look pretty good i actually i'm getting like a little bit of a like, body going and it's looking pretty all right if you'd ask me okay so currently this is going at 45 degrees and it's just a very sharp angle and i want to kind of like smooth it in a little bit now i'm sure there's all kinds of really clever build tricks for this as well but i'm just gonna eyeball it mm, that looks pretty good now actually have Having the wheels just completely sticking out like that looks really weird. So I want to cover them up somehow. And yeah, that's already looking a little bit better. <laughs> now, you might be looking at this thing and think this is the weirdest looking car you've ever seen. And trust me, I think so too. Okay, we're, we're, we're going to have to change a couple of things. <laughs> All right, this puppy is starting to look pretty cool. Now, currently, things are a little bit weird, like in their actual positioning. I, I'd like this to be a little bit closer, but yeah, this is going to be like the general outline of the thing. Now, I actually don't know what this piece of equipment is is actually called uh i would call it like a concrete compactor but we're gonna make like the terrifying version <laughs> all right so this right here is the finished uh basic shape of the entire thing now this thing right here is going to be our machine of death so we're actually gonna take this piece right here and turn it into the machine of death all right so this right here is going to be a very tiny sliver of the actual thing so i think this might actually be the first time and i've wanted to do this many times that i could actually use sonic turbine jets rather than harpoon for spikes. All right, so right here we have one, two, seven spikes. All right, I think this will actually work. <laughs> Dude, this is gonna look so gnarly. Dude, look at those spikes right there. Those are the scariest looking spikes in build a boat, man. And of course, we gotta do it on both sides, baby. All right, then. Well, I think with that, here we go. Time for the actual... You didn't think I was kidding, right? We got spikes here, but these spikes right here don't actually really work. We're gonna have to add some real spikes in there to make sure we can do maximum damage. So yeah, I'm actually gonna place these perfectly in the middle right here. So that way we have maximum shreddage coverage. All right, now I'm gonna go and preemptively go ahead and actually make all the stuff I wanna be invisible invisible and all the stuff that I actually wanna have collision on and off. I'm gonna give those the right properties because dude, doing this later is gonna be a pain in the butt. So this needs to be invisible and everything except for the actual uh, middle thing needs to have collision off as well. And actually, I'm gonna set the jet speed to like zero. <laughs> yeah, let's just hope no one ever clicks those spikes because if they do, they might just actually hijack the entire thing. <laughs> All right, that looks absolutely sick. Let's start cloning. All right. And, oh, dude. Dude, this is gonna be my favorite thing I've ever built. <laughs> dude, that looks so gnarly. Now, of course, I'm assuming most people don't actually just have a uh, 150 something jets laying around, but I do, so I might as well use them. <laughs> Oh my goodness, by golly, old me. This is looking so insane. <laughs> Now, I actually really hope that I don't have too many spikes here to actually crash the game because, dude, trust me, you don't need a lot of them to do that. But I, I at least I have enough actual jets to do this because, honestly, that was the thing I was the most worried about. I move that back in. Okay. Oh, my God, dude. Are you kidding me? Dude, this is looking so nuts. Yeah. You know, I think I might have built the scariest looking thing in all of build -about. <laughs> All right. Time to put this puppy back into place. I think that should be okay right there. Okay. Now, this thing is going to be insanely laggy to move already because, dude... Oh, wait, 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 wait. No, 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 wait. Oh, there's something that's going to get stuck inside of it. That's not what we want. Okay, we can fix that, though. We can fix that, though. All right, so it looks like we're currently dealing with collision issues right here, which I just don't want to be dealing with. And I'm going to fix it in the laziest way possible. 
impossible. It's just simply move everything by 10.3. Exactly. Which that is the default length for a piston, I'm pretty sure. I could have also done 10 and changed the piston later, but this is the stupid way to do it, which is why I'm doing it. Oh my God, dude, this, <laughs> this is gonna be crazy. There's the block that I was looking for. All right, so I have all of the different things in separate pieces. And one of the things that's gonna be kind of tricky is actually making sure that this little piece right here is not touching any of that. As you can see right now, it is. And right now, it perfectly is touching absolutely nothing. Actually, the easiest way to check this, by the way, is actually using the wrench tool because it just shows you the hitboxes without like outlining it. So I can actually move it just like a slight bit back, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep it right there. All right, so this piece right here is pretty much completed. Now, one of the things I am still gonna have to do, which is actually gonna be pretty difficult now that I think about it, I gotta place a wheel in the absolute center. <laughs> All right, well, that is the absolute center, but that's not properly rotated. All right, that one is correctly placed. All right, perfect. So now I have all of this stuff lined up. I can actually uh, hide these wheels right here, but I'm gonna keep them visible for now. But in theory, this thing should still be able to roll. <laughs> all right, now, actually, really quickly, I'm gonna make sure that this stuff is actually properly leveled. So I think that right there is the actual hitbox of the wheel. And that needs to perfectly line up with the bottom of that, which is currently is not. It's off about like 0.5. So yeah, we're gonna take this entire thing and move it down by that much. All right, so that piston right there should pretty much pull everything back into the exact right place. That way, this entire thing, you know, actually looks good. <laughs> and yeah, I'm also once again gonna make all of this stuff invisible at some point, but for now, we'll keep it visible. Now, I think the main thing we still have to do is actually make this stuff look good. Currently, I mean, it looks like something uh, good isn't the word I would describe it with. It's, it's all very boxy and just, you gotta smoothen things out a little bit. So, uh, wow, that looks a whole lot better. I even added a little of a construction logo, I'm gonna call it. Uh, this is Jesse TC Incorporated. <laughs> all right, now, one problem I think I will have to run into is actually that at some point, these wheels are gonna get stuck. Now, actually, the hitbox itself is just the actual wheel. It's just, you know, it's it's weird. Like, the, the, the game will glue this thing together. So, I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm actually gonna move this out by 10.3 blocks. And yeah, all I should actually have to do is simply place myself two pistons that are already extended right here. And I think this will literally fix any problem I might have in the future. Now, what this will mean is that I pretty much will have to make all of the stuff around here in uh, collision off. So yeah, let me do that real quick. I think that should be enough right there. Just, just that stuff. Uh, actually, I'll turn that one collision off just to be safe. Oh wait, collision's already off on that? Wait, collision's off on everything. All right, so in theory, everything should work now. There's only one slight problem and that's like the actual control box. It one, looks like crap and also doesn't actually work yet. So we're gonna have to make things work and also make this thing look good. All right, now that right there is looking a little better. Now currently, I think when I actually retract that piston, I don't think this stuff is gonna be all like very connected. So let me actually make sure that I have everything connected. All right, on anchor. Oh, okay. I, lo ah! I lost a big part of my build. Okay, well, I just wanna see how connected that stuff right there is. So yeah, I'm definitely gonna have to do something about that. All right, so that right there is where I'm actually gonna put the chair that's gonna control the entire thing. But you know, typically these kinds of things aren't just controlled by, you know, some dude sitting in a chair. So uh, I'm actually gonna add like a couple of levers and stuff like that. All right, perfect. Now, actually, the whole setup of the entire thing, uh, I'm actually gonna link to one of these like lever things. I'm just gonna grab a light switch. Yeah, I should be able to just place that right on top. Just like so. And yeah, I'm just gonna link that one to all of our pistons. All right, boom. All right, and then I just have to unlink these from the chair. And I think means that I still do indeed have every single one of these jets linked up to a single button. Um, I'll, I'll just leave that be, I guess. But I think we can finally flip and ride this thing, dude. An anchor. <sighs> okay, dude, this thing doesn't even drive until I set the wheel torque to at least orange, man. Are you kidding me? That's insane. That is so much torque required to ride it. Okay, well, let me actually get this thing set up. Oh, I gotta hide that thing, of course, there. Dude! <laughs> Oh my god! Now, the way it actually drives is we steer with the back wheel, so it's like, hey, dude, actually, I need more torque than this. This is not even enough. Oh, that's a little bit much. Oh, whoa! Holy moly, man! Dude, this thing is so freaking insane! Come here, boy! Oh my god! Oh my god! Uh, oh, oh my god, cannonballs everywhere. Uh, be careful of those. Dude, we absolutely shred through anything. <laughs> oh my god, dude, we literally don't have enough wheel torque right now. Uh -huh. ah! Oh my god! Okay, that is not what I wanted to do, uh, but I fixed it. Thank you. <laughs> so terrifying to ride right now. Oh my god! Dude, we're free! 
<laughs> it's spinning out. Wait, is this little dude spying on me? Dude, I don't like being spied on. Come here, get crushed, buddy. Now, the craziest thing is someone's actually trying to kill us and they're being quite unsuccessful <laughs> because we are literally a tank. Ah! Dude, we haven't even taken damage yet. <laughs> dude, it's the freaking Star Wars ship. Oh my God, dude, we killed the burger. We killed the burger, man. Oh no, I didn't mean to. Come on, I'm trying to survive right here. Dude, I'm so close to death. <laughs> Just give me more torque. Give me more torque. You know, my friend over there decided to load one of the laggiest. Also most insane looking builds I think I've ever seen. So you know what? We're going to go ahead and punish him for doing that. <laughs> oh, I'm coming, boy. And I don't think you're going to like it. Here we go. <laughs> Crush this thing. Oh, my God. <laughs> Oh, God! Crush it! We are literally a meat grinder right now, dude. No, my heli. Oh, wait, no. He stuck us down. No! That's my... Oh, my God. That's the only thing I can literally can't do anything about. <laughs> I can detach myself from this. Come on. I gotta keep crushing it. 